Right, so what is a loop? Well, a loop is simply something that goes round and round. And I'll explain it real simple. Let's say you have a bunch of data. And in programming, we'd call this an array. We have a little container that holds tons and tons of lots of data points. And let's say you wanted to find this data point here. Well, how would you do it? It's not like you can just walk in the room and yell out, I want to find the data point whose name is Frank. Where is Frank, damn it? No, you can't find it that simply. So that's where a loop comes in handy. A loop allows you to take this data set and go through each bit of data one by one until you find the name Frank. So in a program, this is going to look a little something like this. You're going to have your opening statement and a loop can start with for, while, or even do. Those are just three different kinds of loops and other programs will have more. Basically, it doesn't matter which one you're using. They are all loops. So let's take the simplest case, which is a for loop. And what a for loop does is it says for some variable, which is usually called i, and we're gonna start i at naught, and then we're gonna go round and round this loop, and every time we go round the loop, we're gonna check for something. We're gonna say, if i is equal to 10, then the loop will stop. And each time the loop goes round, we're going to have i plus plus, which means add one to i. So the first time you go round, i will be equal to one. The second time, i will be equal to two, etc., etc., until i is equal to 10, and then the loop stops and is no more and goes to the next block of code. So this comes in very handy when we say something like for each element in an array. So you remember at the beginning we had our array that had our bunch of stuff in it. Well, a for loop can count that and go round and round until that has finished counting. And then it can do some blocks of code in here, evaluate them, and it can find the one whose name is Frank and then it can end the loop. So basically, all a loop is, is something that goes round and round, repeats the same instructions, and is controlled by the number of times it should go round, either by a variable that you set, like i, or by the number of objects in whatever you are looking at.